In today's Madden 22 video, I'm going to talk about a concept that I think that you can utilize against gun tight slots. Now, this is a concept, and we're going to be talking a little bit about a, a specific check that we're going to get out of palms, or not palms, but quarters, whenever we're faced with tight. And I'm going to use kind of a, a simple play to illustrate this concept and then talk about what it means as far as how we can actually adapt this defense to defending gun tight. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in today's video, we're taking a look at the nickel normal defense out of the San Francisco 49ers playbook. If you want to learn the full defense that I break down in this playbook, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon membership. You can sign up for the Patreon membership for just 10 bucks a month. And by signing up, you get access to every ebook that I've released. So far, we've got 13 offensive and defensive guides available, including this nickel normal package. We've got more coming on the way. But really what I want to talk about today is my favorite coverage in Madden. Um, and I want to talk about, like, gun tight is probably my, I, out of every offense that I face that, like, good players run. So we're talking U-trips, we're talking uh, tight slots or tight offset, uh, we're talking bunch, bunch tight end, trips tight end, spread, um, treo, any of those kind of sets. I feel pretty good against most of them. The one that I, I really don't want to play <laughs> is gun tight. And the reason why, honestly, is because I have no idea how to stop it. <laughs> like, um, because it's just, it changes the rules so much that it's hard to understand what's going on. And today I feel like I finally have at least something that I can explain uh, for what we're going to get whenever we get a tight slots uh, set. So hopefully uh, this will help you if you like to run match coverage. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple different things and I want to talk about why I absolutely disguise or uh, I, it just disgusts me when people run tight because it's so hard to stop. So uh, I got a couple coverages in my audibles. I want to talk about that real quick. Uh, I got palm six, buzz match, buzz week. Okay. Um, and so I want to showcase why these two coverages right here are terrible for tight. And then maybe even this one, uh, not not as much six, uh, but palms and quarters and six are really the better coverage uh, from this. And then, of course, you guys know I love cover one. Uh, right now I'm on a big cover one kick and been studying a lot about cover one. But I want to go back to quarters for this video, and I want to talk about this. So let's jump into the video. And um, this is going to be a little bit different video. It's going to be a little bit more in-depth. And because uh, again, I just, I don't know. I like talking about this stuff. Hopefully you can learn something. And if you know something that I don't know, comment on it. Like the whole point of my channel guys is to get better at Madden. I'm trying to get better. I think you're trying to get better and I want to get better together. I want to learn from other people. I study the crap out of film. Uh, I study as much Madden as I can. And I really haven't seen um, someone that has good match defense for tight at least um, that would would stop some of the concepts that I I'm about to show you. So, anyways, let's talk. Let's talk about quarters. So, um, the easiest way to illustrate, we're going to come out and flood, but we're going to audible to bench because it's the easiest way to illustrate the point that I'm going to try to make, and then uh, we're going to talk about about this. Now, uh, on the rip, if you want to just watch this video and like click off in five seconds, if I just run quarters, and you may watch this because you want to stop that flood play, quarters will stop flood. Okay, it will 100% stop flood. So uh, just just for those of you guys that want quick, short to the point videos, um, here you go. Like this stops it. As you can see, like yeah, he might catch that, but you got a guy right there. You click on, you swap that. You're you're right there. Okay. So I'm not mad at I when I play defense, I'm really not that mad if they score. I'm really mad if they have wide open players every play. Um, I want to be at least in the vicinity for good things to happen. Okay, so let's talk about the rest of what we're seeing here. So what we understand is if, if let's say, for example, let's say, for example, I was in bunch. And we can use bunch tight end is fine. So I'm in bunch. Okay, if you're in quarters and you're in, and, and they run bunch, you get what's called a box check. Now, um, again, I'm still studying some of this stuff. From what I what I, the the basic point of box is to really create I think a three by two or a four on three one of the two okay and what that basically means is these this these four players Milano the three rec Johnson the quarter flat 
Wallace, the outside quarter, and Hyde, the inside quarter, are going to basically build a box around the three receivers of the bunch. And if one of those receivers goes across the field on like, let's say like a little in route or a drag, what should happen is that three wrecks should follow him, okay? So to illustrate this as easy as we can, this concept probably illustrates it the best. What you should see is that this guy is responsible for deep outside corner of a box, so the corner routes. This guy's responsible for the vertical routes. This guy's responsible for the flat routes. This guy, like I said, is responsible for shallow crossers. This defender right here, Milano, is the guy that I don't have a ton of confidence in. I like to um, I like to user him. Um, but also, one thing I want to quickly say about this three-wreck hook defender, he's the guy in this defense that honestly you could get, you could move, you could change his zone. Okay. Um, what I would do if I did that is I would want to have what we would basically do is put a defensive tackle on a bluff blitz. And if you look, if I put Phillips in a bluff blitz here, you'll see it puts him in a three rack hook. Okay. So we just need something for shallow crossers and then we can kind of feel free to adjust this guy. Okay. Because the, in the box check, from what I've understood, the three wreck is going to open and wall the number three, which is the tight end. But really, he's primary playing, primarily going to play um, any kind of drag routes, okay? Any kind of crossers. So, anyways, enough chatting. Let me show you the box check here. You're going to see out route taken, corner route taken, and bam. Okay, perfect defense. Now, just to illustrate the three wreck hook, just, just, just humor me with this, please, because we're going to get into it. Um, so to just illustrate this three rec hook, we're going to make one trick or one little uh, tweak to that route combo out of bunch tight end. I'm in the Raiders book, which has all kinds of sets. Um, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go, um, with a vertical to Brown and an in route to Evans. Okay. Just humor me with this. I'm just trying to teach the principle. Okay. And then we're going to get to tight end just a second. So, um, so again, I'm not doing anything. This is just straight quarters. What we should get is the outside quarter, or the outside corner should take the corner route. The inside safety should take that vertical route. And then what we should see is this three reg should actually probably take this in. So we snap the ball, and you see the three reg takes it, passes it to the other quarter, to the other uh, quarter flat. Now I want to show you one other situation, and then we're going to come back to tight. Okay. Because because what and I'm gonna explain you're gonna it's gonna make sense once we go back to tight so just hang with me so we're gonna do the same combo the only difference is we're gonna put the running back on a wheel because that's gonna manipulate that quarter flat defender and I just want you to see what's gonna happen here so what you're gonna get now is this three rec should carry him all the way see how he carries him all the way that's really important that's back to what I'm saying in compression or bunch. The three wreck is really primarily responsible for drags. He's not going to play a lot of vertical routes, right? Not going to play a lot of vertical routes. Now let's talk about tight. The best that I can explain tight, and I'm going to show you this route combination from tight. So we're going to go to bench. I'm going to put both of these guys on verticals. And then what I'm going to do with the running back is I'm just going to put him on an out. And I want you to watch how these two formations are, are these two sides of this formation, they're going to defend it a little bit differently. Okay. On the left side, what you're going to, what you should see is the outside quarter. If this was a, see, here's how I always thought this defended time. I thought you got a box check quote unquote on both sides of the formation. I don't know. I no longer think that's what we're getting. Okay. I think we're getting a box check to the three, to the, to the running back side because there's three receivers and I think on the back side, we're basically getting, I don't, I don't know if it's exactly this, but we're getting some type of maybe base quarters or mag. I don't know exactly. We're going to look at this in this replay. What you'll see here, the outside corner on the left side is going to take the outside threat, so the deep corner, right? The inside corner on this side is going to take the vertical. And then on the right side, what you're going to see is it's blade way different. The outside corner is going to go with 81, and the safety is going to go with 87. This is why whenever you play gun-tight offset, they throw so many touchdowns on you because of this, this check right here. 
and 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 the best I can explain it, like tight offset, the running back would actually be on the right side. So everything I just said would be flipped. And what you get is you get an out route to Evans and a deep corner to Miller. And if they have a route running ability on him, you get out leverage and they score on you. So let's talk about, let's take a look at this check. Okay, snap the ball. What you're going to see is basically exactly what I just said. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to break it down in instant replay so you can understand it or so you can see it. And again, this is early. So trust me, if you have more insight to how quarters works against tight, please tell me. I'm trying to learn how it works. OK, um, but this is basically what I've gathered at this point. So what we're going to get here, Evans is um, so Evans is running his route. And look at this. He's going to run a corner. So he's first outside. So watch who guards him. The outside corner, okay, just like that. Perfect box check, right? Inside quarter is going to take the inside number uh, a vertical. You see here, look at this real quick. 23 is on Evans, and then he switches. Really important. So you see matching principles are coming to fruition, okay? Now on this side, watch the three red defender. He's going to open to the three, which is the back. Watch him carry it, and then watch him deliver over here. See that deliver? That's huge. Okay, so that's a match, carry, and deliver, right? He's going to match the three, carry him to the quarter flat, deliver him to him, and then once he delivers him, watch what he does. Now he's back over here looking for a drag or something coming across, okay? So what we basically got here, okay, if we split, again, quarters, palms, six, all those coverages are what's called split field safety. What that means is, Number, I mean, basically the easiest explanation of this is the difference between cover three and cover four is where the safeties are. Okay, cover four, you got split field safety. So two safeties up top, the middle, that would be what they would uh, phrase as middle of the field open, okay? When you go to cover three, you have what's middle of the field closed. One safety is the underneath curl flat defender, and one safety is the deep middle third defender, okay? That's the biggest distinction. Now, the way that I like to explain this as best as I can is what I think you're seeing here is a coverage that is literally splitting the field in half, okay? A coverage that is splitting the field in half. So now let's go over here and look at the, how this plays over here. So we put, I think Brown is on the corner. So he's gonna run vertical and then he's gonna cut outside and you see it plays okay. But really notice the difference here. Notice the difference between 87. The safety, look where his initial step here is. Inside, but watch really carefully here. You're going to see he's never at any point concerned with 81. At any point concerned with 81. And we're going to show you one more thing that's going to really, I think, convince you of what's going on here. Watch this quarter flat. Watch what he does. Basically nothing. <laughs> He just kind of holds this and, and then carries and does nothing, guards nothing, okay? Okay, so now let's talk about another concept or a combo that you're gonna see uh, on this right side, and that is what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Gronkowski on a corner, Brown on a streak, okay? And then we're gonna go Evans on a corner, and then now just for, just for, just for um, you know, just, just cause, uh, we're gonna take Jones and put him on an in route. OK, now what we've got is we've got a, a shallow crosser coming from the, the bunch side, if you will, or the box check side coming from the left side to the right side. And I want to show you how this is all going to defend. So we're just going to take a snap here and I want you to watch how this plays. To me, this is huge. OK, to me, this is huge. So take a look at what you're going to see here on this right side. This is why. If you're like me, you've given up some one-play scores, especially against tight offset because the running back's on the other side. Um, but watch how this plays. So um, 81 is on the vertical. If this was a box check, what should happen is 27 should take the tight into the corner, but you see he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay. And then now look at this. The safety takes him. And who's the quarter flag guarding? Nobody. Nobody. He gets out leveraged. The three wreck thinks that this quarter flat is going to be over here. So what this guy does is say, well, I've carried him. I've delivered him to the quarter flat defender who is nowhere to be found on the field. Nowhere on the field is the quarter flat defender. So this is where I, again, this is just my opinion. 
this is where I think we're getting something a little bit different. I think you're almost getting um, stock quarters, maybe. I'm not sure, okay? And let me show you why I'm not sure. So now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna put Brown on a flat, Gronkowski on a corner, and then if we were gonna actually run this as a legitimate combination, we would probably do, you know, and again, I know this is just a teaching piece, but maybe something, let's just do, I'm trying to think. Let's put triangle on an N and let's just take the back and wheel him, okay? Just to kind of try to illustrate what you're seeing here, okay? And again, I'm in base quarters, no adjustments, none at all, okay? I need to talk about three buzz and match and, and that in a minute, but I want you to see this. So snap the ball, watch what happens. Very interesting what you just saw, okay? It's really important because I'm gonna, because one of the most popular route combinations that you are gonna consistently see from compression, especially this one, is double wheels. You're gonna get a, two flats and a wheel and then a running back little angle route or something over the middle. So let's take a look at the film. So we're in instant replay here. And what you're gonna see is on this left side, we're gonna play pretty solid. And again, this is the box check, right? Right, look at this, look how this works. Works perfectly. Watch the three rec, really important. Three rec carries that shallow crosser all the way across the formation. Isn't that interesting? Okay, he can't, just like he would in bunch. Okay, just like he did in bunch when we ran a route combo that's kind of similar to this. Now, watch this. This is the most important piece of this tape. 81 is on a flat. That's not a vertical route. Quarters, when we talk quarters, we teach quarters, we talk about how it all is really based around trying to do a man or a, a pattern match. And what that essentially means is it's going to be a cover four zone, but it's going to adapt or match to the pattern distribution, the patterns that the receivers are running. So if 81 was going to the flat, the outside quarter technically shouldn't really play him. But watch what happens here. He goes to the flat, and that outside quarter stands there for about 20 minutes and then finally bails back on that tight end. So that's technically, now if I were to go to spread, let me, and this, this will really help, I think, make, make a lot of sense out of this. So now watch this. I'm going to go to some type of spread set, and I want to show you this. I'm gonna move the back over just so that, just to kind of make things a little easier. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go corner to Gronk, and I'm gonna do a little like the basic version of a flat, and then on the back side we're gonna go with um, let's go post, let's go you know let's go with a deep vertical, something like this. Uh, let's do let's do this actually. Basically exactly the same. It's basically the exact same. Pattern distribution. The only difference is now it's from spread, not from tight. Watch the right side of the field, please. Watch this and tell me what you or and, and take a look at what you see here. See how he bails back much faster? That's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. Okay, now they can't throw a corner out to the tight end because he bails back faster than he does when he's in compression. We ran the same exact the same exact basic concept. Okay? but we got a significantly different result. Now look at the quarter flat. He actually jams the tight end. And now look at what we have. Very good coverage on that side. And then on the back side, we have incredible coverage as well. Everything's bagged. So when you're talking about defending quarters or, or defending compression out of quarters, this is my personal opinion, but what I see is that we're getting a box check to the left and then we're getting a traditional quarters check to the right side. Again, if you literally took your hand and put it on the center, you're getting a box check left and you're getting a quarters uh, check right. Now where this gets really interesting is in a situation like what I'm about to show you out of this. So now uh, we'll, let's go do some, uh, some other concepts here, some other combinations, okay? Another concept could be this. Gronk's gonna go on a post, Brown's gonna go on a flat, um, and then we're going to run a slant to Miller. This is a you know pretty basic route comment route, route concept. Okay, well, let's watch how this plays. So we get exactly what I was thinking we would get here. And again, uh, very important that you understand this. 
essentially what we're getting without really getting it is this guy is basically playing this guy as if he was in man coverage. Just, but he does, it's kind of like a broken piece of this coverage though. Because he's really not playing him like he's in man. It, it, but but the way it actually will function out is, is basically man. So watch this. He's on a flat. So he's sitting there. Look at this, he's sitting there. And then once the quarter flat gets in the vicinity of this area, then all of a sudden he's like, oh, I don't got to guard him anymore. So now look what he does. He runs back to the slant. He's actually running back to this deep post that he's out leveraged against. So we have a breakdown in the coverage essentially with the, the exchange between the quarter flat defender on the right and the outside quarter on the right side, in my opinion. And what we're getting is we're getting that outside quarter play. And I'm like, man, so we're going to try to basically adjust this coverage so that stuff like that doesn't happen. Stuff like we, we don't want stuff like that to happen ideally. Okay. So now, and, and again, let's like, like take a look at the actual full, uh, let's take a look at the other side though. On this side, we're really not bad. He takes the flat perfectly. The three rack carries him across deliver and the reason he's carrying him for so long is because he has nobody to deliver him to on that side that's the biggest that's the biggest breakdown in this coverage and then the post gets matched fairly well you know we'd probably be fine against that and then the tight end post gets matched by the inside safety into a pretty good coverage we're just getting a massive breakdown on the right side is what i'm getting at here okay so now Let's talk about, um, let's talk about, uh, let me do one other one. Let me do one more route concept for you. Let's go mesh spot. So with mesh spot, what you're probably going to get, I mean, there's several different ways to run the play, of course. Um, but let's just do a basic concept here. So let's just do, oh, let's do like a streak to Evans. Um, let's do like a tight end out. Um, and then let's do a slant and let's do an out. Let's do something like this. This is again, just kind of, kind of trying to throw some stuff at the wind here on these route combos, but I want, I'm trying to illustrate this, this massive breakdown that we're getting on the right side of the field. Okay. So, uh, you see here, we're just base quarters, no adjustments, nothing. Um, but watch how this coverage plays this. So what you should get again, you're getting a box check on the left side. The three rec should carry this uh, slant. We'll see if he does. And then the quarter flat should take the tight end route. Let's see what happens here. And we get fairly decent coverage. The slant did get open, uh, but we did get fairly decent coverage. So now let's take a look at the film. Kind of break down what we see happening here. Box check does exactly what we want it to do. You're going to see, watch this. Great coverage here on the vertical. Okay, he takes the inside. There's no outside breaking pattern, except the running back technically. Now the three rack gets gets um, gets jacked up, and and honestly, he really doesn't. If you, I mean, he he does, but he doesn't because he's doing his job. He's carrying. He's because he's more worried about the three receiver side, right? So he's taking that back and that back. He's trying to deliver that to the quarter flat, right? And so once he delivers that, now watch, he'll bail off. Um, but the problem is, then you get this pattern coming across that is now in you know kind of in a, in a no man's land which we can easily use or that there's some things we can do but now i'll take over here so this is when the tight end runs what i the tight end runs an underneath breaking pattern very important so this is an underneath route not vertical watch this inside quarter doesn't go to him doesn't go to him he basically does his job perfectly watch what he does he helps vert because his because number two doesn't go vertical. He is now working to number one. Number one is going vertical. Now what can we get here? We get a great double team on this play, and we take this away. So really where the issue in this coverage becomes is not with the tight end, and really not even with the running back, is with the number one receiver on the back side of this formation. That's the, that's the biggest issue in quarters in terms of how it's going to defend. And so what I like to do to kind of sum this up, at least this is where I'm at right now, and I could be ch I could change, but this is how I like to defend this formation. So what I like to do 
is because this guy is going to break down no matter what anyway, I'm just going to man lock him on circle. So he's just going to literally be man locked on circle. And now what you should see is the coverage will play fairly well against most of the most of the concepts. So let's say we get a corner route, we get a vertical, we get a block, and then we get an out. Something like this. Maybe even a wheel. Let's do this. This is a great bomb play out of flood. Watch this. He's locked on. Got a double team on the corner. And you see you've got great coverage across the board, right? Um, let's go to the four verticals concept. Now, again, this isn't going to stop everything. What I like to do is take this DT, put him in a three rack, and then use this guy. And I open up if that running back's on the seam wheel. I'll cover that myself. If not, I'll work back to this side because I know most of the issues are coming from over here. Most of the issues in the coverage are coming from the right side of the screen. Okay? So it's really going to look like this, if you will. I mean, I'm going to use her. But I'm just trying to show you the, you know, seven on seven, if you will, I guess. Uh, but anyways, now let me talk about four verticals. So this is the, the play here. Little double wheels. Um, so now because you've man locked on onto that guy, watch how this is going to change out defense. You see the quarter flat carries the vertical. To me, that's a game changer. To me, that's a game changer. The quarter flat now because he has nothing to do with circle. No one on this field on the film or on the on the field should have anything to do with that eighty one. Okay, nothing to do with eighty one is our goal. And what happens is now the four verticals play that I would argue is one of the best concepts out of tight. Watch this. You go three rec, you man up the, uh, the guy, and then I'm in the middle. I don't have to worry about the tight end because I now basically have a two-on-one with him. I've locked on to 81, and now I've got a two-on-one between the linebacker on that side and between the safety on that side. So now all I got to do is look for... Um, look for um, cross or um, underneath stuff, crossing routes. Watch this. Watch the left side now. The left side's still open, but not really. It's a tough throw, and this is probably probably the best defense you'll find on the internet for what I would argue is one of the best concepts in the game, especially when people are running zone coverage. Now, I want to talk about the age-old concept out of this package, which is basically double seam, uh, double crossers like a PA post shot if you will um, and you know what to do this we'll just this is probably fine we'll just do it like this it's fine. Um, same exact defense so you're here okay and I want you just to watch these crossers now you're gonna go here and then you see that circle is guarded there so now your only really responsibility just because we basically what we've done is we've tried our best to essentially turn our the way we defend uh, tight into basically the same format into the way in which we would defend gun bunch. So now my primary concern is either the crop is the crosser from left to right or a deep corner from number two weak weak side, which is the tight end. In this example, if it was tight offset, it would be the other one. Let me see if I have tight uh, with a with a tight end core or a deep corner here. Um, this PA cross here. So now the running back's over here. This is basically tight, up, tight offset. So now if you watch the coverage, what you'll see here is the box check should change, and the box check now is going to be on the right side of the field, not on the left side of the field, okay? So if, and, and to illustrate this, we're just going to do um, streak, uh, two streaks on the outside, two corners, and then we're going to do a, a running back route. Okay, so something like this. Now watch the difference in how it's going to defend. You should see it basically flip. And now look who's open. Now it's this guy. And it did. It basically flipped. The, the running back has basically changed the whole thing in one little in one little example. And and now what we've got is again, if you think this through, really what you've got is you've got bunch to the right and you've got tight twins to the left. So you'll see here on the right. Uh, we played fairly decent, and, and really what you what I should have done is flip the play. What you should do is you should flip the play to the strong side of the running back. If we were an auto flip, it would have already done that for us. 
So that's on me. If you, if they motion that running back, you need to flip your play. It's really important um, because you're going to get different rules. And so now you see here, um, we get we get manipulated on both sides. But really, the what I'm getting at is these two receivers here. If they just come out in it, you're already going to be set up. Okay. So that is kind of where I'm at as far as def defense for tight. Why don't I like cover three buzz match or cover three buzz? I'm not, here's why. The seam flats don't do anything for you. They might as well be hard flats. All they do is maybe jam, but if unless you get a crazy shed, um, you're not gonna be in a good position and I'll show you why. So let's say they go uh, flood, just, just straight up flood. Watch this. The post has a pretty good chance of getting open, of course. And if I put a streak on the field, um, because it's cover three, uh, if I put if I put a streak to Miller in a corner to Brown, like this is a bomb. It, it's an absolute bomb. There it is. Yeah. So, I mean, you see, and if it's an accurate throw, it's going to be open, right? The other reason why I don't like cover three buzz or cover three buzz match week is because if they just sit, I mean, it doesn't, they don't have to do anything. Just run something like this. And you'll see these seam flats just don't carry it. And again, I'm just getting shedded. But you see the corners are wide open. Like you'll get, if, if they know what they're doing out of tight, if I get cover three on me, I'm going right here. Um, I'm going right here every play. Like I'll just go, I'll just go to, to these crossers. I'll go to the, to the deep corners. And you just can't defend, you can't defend it in cover three. Unless you're Mabeling. Um, or double flatting. So that's why I like this. I like quarters because I don't have to worry about the corner route to the left. And now I can get a double team on the corner route to the right. Okay. And I like to kind of shift like this. This is like how I like to look at it. And then what we're going to get here is like, again, to talk about like if they go, let's say they go to, um, you know, let's say they motion. I really, really think you should just quickly flip your play because you got an entirely different formation at that point. You, they, they've basically flipped their play with the, when they move that running back to the right. Okay, so really, really important that you flip your play so that your rules uh, basically will be more accurate, more representative of what the actual check is that you need. Uh, for defending this formation. But anyways, guys, I know this was probably one of my longer videos that I've done this year. Let me know what you thought about this. This is kind of how I break stuff down in our defensive and offensive eBooks, really in depth and really uh, specific and kind of teach through and walk through step-by-step -step through what's going on. So if you want to learn, if you want to get one of those, join the Patreon. By far the best deal that I have um, for just $10 a month you're going to get access to everything. And if I ever need to update stuff, I always update the eBooks um, so that they're always the best they can be. And then also, um, if you, and again, you don't have to sign up for like forever. You can sign up for just a month or whatever. But if you watch all the way through this video, uh, thank you for doing that. And I, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any advice for how to defend formations like this, please let me know. But so far, this is kind of what I've found uh, that works the best that it can. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.